Post-call analytics, or PCA, is the third use case for contact center intelligence solutions, also known as AWS CCI. Powered by AWS AI services, CCI is neither a product nor a service, but a set of solutions formed using a combination of AWS AI services to help customers who want to modernize their contact centers by adding AI to their existing platforms, such as Cisco or Avaya. We have built an open source solution for this, which many customers have either deployed as is, or perhaps with minor changes for their particular use case, or they have used the open source code to assist them in processing the output from Amazon Transcribe in their own solution. PCA works by ingesting any of the call audio files that your telephony system has created and then delivered into an Amazon S3 bucket. PCA then takes over and a workflow is started that processes those files through both Amazon Transcribe for speech to text, followed by Amazon Comprehend for other NLP related processing on that text, such as custom named entity recognition. All of this data is then exposed via a set of Amazon Athena tables, which allows any SQL based business intelligence tool, such as Amazon QuickSight, Tableau or Power BI, to easily access that data. This lets you build up powerful dashboards based upon the data and insights that our AI services have generated, allowing you to easily spot trends, anomalies or other actual insights in both how your agents are performing and of what your customers are actually talking about. We also provide a user interface to this data, which is really designed to allow you to review a single transcript, allowing you to examine when or where particular data insights appeared in the call, as well as playback and listen to the audio. Let's click on one of these calls now. Now, at the top of the details page, we have two sections called record details and transcribed details. These tell you some high level information about the call itself, including things like the agent and the call good from your telephony system, the dominant language code for this particular conversation, the trending and overall sentiment scores for both the agent and the caller, and any additional transcribed features that we may have used, such as vocabulary filters, which we did in this case, or custom vocabularies, which we did not. Now, the first two graphs at the top highlight two important points. The first one is the aggregated sentiment level per speaker for each quarter of the call. And the second is the speaking time split, along with any silent time that happened to occur during the call. Now, whilst the overall call sentiment is very, very useful as a trend, the sentiment graph shows how sentiment rises and drops throughout the call for both of the speakers. Now, this call shows some good expected behavior. The agent has begun quite positively, and there's often an early drop in the sentiment score as they empathize with the customer before finishing off on a much more positive note. The customer shows that they weren't happy at the, at the beginning of the call. This is not surprising because typically they may have a complaint or something else is just not working for them. But by the end of the call, you can see here from a sentiment perspective, they're in a much better place. Now, speaking time is also quite important because you can then spot trends in which of your agents are just talking too much rather than listening. And whilst this call has no actual silent time, it would appear here and give you additional insights into which agents continually put customers on long hold times or also help you give an indication on which conversational topics continually trigger long hold times. Scrolling down, we actually come to this rather large graphic that combines many of our insights across the call. Now we show a chart per speaker, i.e. the customer as well as the agent, and it shows the following things. The first is really the volume level of that particular speaker at any part of the call. We also overlay the sentiment of that speaker at, at that particular part of the call. We show the locations in the call when any of the speakers got interrupted by another one using this vertical orange bar, and if present, uh, any actual silent time within the call, which there isn't any in this particular case. But this gives you a view at a glance of how the call went. So you can see quite quickly if agent interruptions are actually causing a negative sentiment in the customer, or perhaps a spike in their negativity if one speaker starts to raise the voice more. Now the PCA solution can actually extract named entities from within the transcript, normally using a custom model built by the customer within Amazon Comprehend, but it can also use a simple list of strings for simple string searches. It can also use whichever of the Amazon Comprehend pre-trained entity types that are actually useful to you, such as date or location. Any other types that you defined will be called out here as well, and each of them will get highlighted within the transcript, which we'll see later. The categories, these are something that customers can define themselves within Amazon Transcribe, and they allow you to actually track where various combinations of call metadata exist, or equally important, where they don't exist. 
This allows you to see where your mandated opening and closing remarks and greetings are correctly spoken by the agent or where they're not. But it can also take in other metadata too as part of that decision, such as the opening greeting is only valid if it occurred in the first 30 seconds of the call. The other rules allow you to combine interrupt counts or times or sentiment states across any segment of the call. Now within summaries, this is where there are additional ML models within Amazon Transcribe that try to extract the exact text from the caller or agent that can tell you, firstly, the reason why the customer has, has called in today. This one quite clearly says they have lost their credit card and they want to get it replaced. This is clearly called out as the reason for the customer to call in. But it also show you the action items that the agent has stated that they will perform uh, as, as part of that call. And it also describes what the final outcome uh, of the call was as stated by the agent. Now this information along with entities and categories allows you to automatically build up a call summary record and helping you to ensure that these are generated in a standard way and a consistent fashion that contain all of this information rather than relying on a few rush notes from your agents before they jump onto the next call. Now finally, we have the actual transcript itself. So in the transcript, we will separate out the customer utterances from the agents and then for each of these utterances, we show the following information. First, we show the sentiment sort of tag for this particular uh, part of speech. We show the timestamp where this utterance actually happened, and we also show you who was doing the talking. So we call out the agent from the customer lines independently. We also call out any categories that happen to be detected at this point in time. And so this one actually shows that the agent used the correct greeting of thank you for calling Anchor Credit Union. Uh, but what we don't actually show is situations where a category was flagged because something didn't happen, just because there's no timestamp um, within, the within the transcript to tag it to because it hasn't actually appeared in the transcript. So we also show you if the speaker has interrupted the previous speaker. So this can see quite clearly the agent is now over talking the actual customer. And we've called out any of the detected entities that we had, whether it's through the string search techniques or the comprehend custom models or the comprehend pre-trained models. So this calls out the organization of Anchor Credit Union, calls out a date of today. Now we also show you all of the summary text. So if you have an issue detected or an action or an outcome, we will call it out in the transcript as well. Even though we have it further up the call in the header information, we actually show you in the transcript as you're going through. And we also show you, or more to the point, we don't show you, uh, where we've actually found some PII data and redacted it from the call. So we don't have to do this. It's an optional feature of Amazon Transcribe that you can turn on. But if you do use it, you can also set it up so that PCA creates a new version of the audio file with these words actually blanked out. So this allows you to have your agents or your supervisors to come back after the fact to replay the audio file. And that will then hide the PII data so they can't hear uh, the names or the credit cards or whatever it is you actually have wanted to blank out. So at the top, we also have the playback control. So this lets you play the call uh, all the way through with some scrubbing capabilities to go left and right through the call. But you can also click on the timestamp when it's playing and it will jump to that point of the call. So let's try this now by starting the playback and then jumping down to where we can see some of that PII data. Thank you for calling Anchor Credit Union, the number one choice for captains worldwide. How can I help you? Hi. Um, okay, so I was at Fisherman's Terminal mm -hmm. uh, trying to dock up my uh, John. Hi, I'm Jeff. Happy to be helping you today. Um, what was the billing zip code for that card? Okay. And. So thank you for watching this overview of our post-call analytics solution. As I said earlier, it is fully open sourced, so please go and try it out and take as much or as little of the code base as you need in order to implement your own PCA solution. We'd love to see what you use this for. Thanks for watching.